Shalom, it's No Limit Eddie back with another video. You saw the thumbnail, you also saw the title. So today, um, well clearly you guys can see I'm an African American and I am in, you can see what language that is. <laughs> I am in Egypt and I'm doing some grocery shopping today. So um, this past two weeks I've been eating chickpea, I'm eating chickpea salad sandwiches. So it's kind of like a tuna salad, but instead it's chickpeas. Um, so that's what I'm eating this past two weeks. I don't want to switch it up. So right, there was some yelling between two employees in the front and the back. I think it's over. Now, um, either way, so I've been eating that for like the past two weeks. So if you guys know, um, I want to get basically some cornbread and some fish. Cornbread and fish is what I want to eat this week. But I don't cook cornbread nor fish. I don't know how to really cook it. I used to cook it from the um, box and mix. I was pre-made, but they don't have that here. So we do have somebody out here who does know how to cook this type of food. Every once in a while, you'll see her in a live stream or in the comment section. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna just get their ingredients and then um, basically have her cook it for me. So I'm in the store right now looking for all this stuff and I'll show you guys what I'm getting. Okay, so she said that for one of the, for the cornbread, she needs honey and they have a lot of different types. Um, they have the, the brand here, Metro brand for 73 pounds, pretty big container. But you guys know I'm trying to really avoid plastics anywhere I can. And so with these being in glass containers, and they also a little bit cheaper, but of course you get more in this one. Um, I'm gonna get one of these glass ones. So they have a spring honey. This is one option. And they have a clover blossom honey. Um, I think I'll grab a spring honey, I guess. We'll grab a spring. This one got a lot of stuff on the side. Hold on. All right, so spring honey, um, glass container. So I'll grab this. All right, now also, um, she needed some corn flour, but there's too many different types. So there's like this yellow corn flour here. Then there's this dream corn flour and this one corn flour. So there's too many different types. So send her some photos to figure out which one she prefers or if I should go to another store. But yo, so this is something that I've been eating all the time. It's called polenta. And apparently they have it here at Metro. I never seen it until today. So um, this is kind of crazy that they had this here. Polenta, really good guys, really good. Now the way I cook my polenta is usually um, 24 ounces of milk and then eight ounces of water. But sometimes I'll do 27 ounces of milk and eight ounces, 27 ounces of milk and then put water in until I reach the 32 ounces. And then um, I will put in eight ounces of polenta uh, with that. That's normally how I go about doing it. Now they got some fish right here in the back. So they have tilapia. I know I try to avoid tilapia, but that always tells me to avoid that fish. So um, we're going to get the Nile perch instead. Let's get some Nile perch. Now that's 200 pounds though. That's, that's a little pricey. I ain't going to even lie. That's over 10 US. But I'll mess with it. It's enough. It's enough fish. And we're doing a store brand version of the uh, cornmeal. So I got that in, the, in there. I got the Nile perch. I got the honey. So um, I'm about to see right now. Like, I mean, I might get this brand, but at the same time, I honestly might go to Abu because um, some of the stuff be cheaper there. I'm gonna see how much this flour is. Cause they were saying 105 pounds, I think. And to me, 105 is kind of pricey, but we'll see. All right, guys, so I ended up getting this right here. This all came out to be uh, 314 pounds, which I'm not sure what that is in USD, but I'll convert it right now and put it on the screen. All right, so um, all that there got three things of cornmeal, one thing of honey, and a thing of fish, and that ended up being $16.61. The majority of that money was for the fish. So the fish was like... Um, 270 pounds so that was like 10 of 10 of the dollars was the fish over ten dollars was the fish um and the rest of it was the um honey and then the flour was only one dollar each so um yeah we got all that stuff now we're about to head up to the next store at boo and grab a couple of more items um okay, here we go all right so i need to grab uh butter which i'm gonna grab right here i'm probably just gonna grab this one maybe straight um, so I got some butter and I need to grab cooking cream so I'm gonna grab just this one I think um, well I'll ask her if she wants a big one or a small one 
Okay, so we got the butter in the hand right now. Now the messenger about what cooking crate do we need to get? The bigger one or the smaller one? We'll figure that out right now. And then after that, I pretty much got everything that I need um, inside the bag. Um, the cooking cream for the big one is 98 pounds, which is I think close to like five dollars. The smaller one is saying 58 pounds, um, so it's a difference of uh, six, seven, eight, around 30 pound difference, two dollar difference basically. Um, and then the butter, the butter doesn't even have a price on it. Like you guys can see, it has no price. But I'm assuming this will be like a hundred something pounds for this butter right here. Probably about a hundred something pounds. All right, so I just came back in the store. I want to grab one more of these right here. So the goal is to get two pans of cornbread. So that way I can eat this throughout the rest of the week. Um, instead of having to buy one and one. So I'm going to get the second thing of this and I should be straight. And then uh, after this, I'm probably going to go to the bakery. Because I want to get some food to actually eat today. So I'm probably going to like some avocado toast. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is T. Yeah. T. No. And it's your girl, Jazzy J. My diva. And we love building y'all. And, yeah, and we just came through to tell you what we have learned from our brother, No Limit Eddie. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, say the very first thing I learned: touch down, touch down to Tanzania. All in his book. He yeah. told me what it was gonna be. He said it's gonna feel like this. It's gonna feel like that. But you're gonna have to pay. Yeah. You're gonna have to pay. A hundred dollars, you gonna get your three month uh visitation uh passport visa, yeah. uh visa to be um down there and you know if you bring anything with you, then you know they're probably gonna try to charge you for anything other than clothes that's Man. in your uh suitcase. So exactly. yeah, uh, it, it was <laughs> still surprising. It was, it was still surprising, <laughs> but a man told me. He told me, he told yeah. me, he told me. Thank you for telling me, man. Man, thank you, Melvin Eddie. Me. Once again, like they said, the book mm. is awesome. Make sure you go get that. Your guide to Africa, you need it mm. uh, 100%. And then you got the newest book, too. I will mm -hmm. have to say uh, a couple things that I learned. Um, a big thing that saved me and Michael was him teaching us about Google Fi. Google mm. Fi is actually a phone program that you need to hook up to your phone so that you can make calls back to the States while you're in Africa. If you don't have this set up with your SIM card, like he told us, you can't call your people. You can't tell them that you're safe or you're not safe or you need help or yeah, something. And you're yeah. literally stuck. Yeah. Um, so it lets it, it makes it where you can call locally and you can call the United States was, was amazing. And the last thing that I got to say that we learned is our brother, No Limit Eddie showed us those negotiating skills. The, the, the key the to art, negotiation, the power, the skill, the uh -huh. whatever they tell you, break it down half. <laughs> break it down half. Man. And that's where you start <laughs> from because you they've already English? charged you probably 20 times more than what they're charging mm -hmm. somebody else. Uh, one of the things is um, really you're, you're really hands on with everything. Um, it, it's like you're right there with us when you're talking to us. Uh, every time that you're teaching us or telling us anything about it, um, it feels like you're right there with us. So you're really hands on um, when when the way that you explain it, we can actually picture it in our heads. So um, I think that's one of the, the biggest pluses uh, that I that I get yeah, from you. Exactly, hundred mm -hmm. percent. Like Babe said, I 100% agree with that. You break things down like a three-year-old. Like you tell people how to do it. Sometimes people do like a broad spectrum of giving people information, but you're like, I'm going to break it down yeah, step by yeah. step so you yeah. can see it. Um, so that's awesome. So yeah, I definitely agree.